thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Skin Time TV with Ashley. So I am looking crazy, my hair is looking a hot mess, but it really doesn't matter because I'm about to go on a walk. And I actually just recently purchased Black Girl Sunscreen. It's been all the rave since like last year, maybe like the last couple years, but I haven't gotten it yet and I am so glad to finally have gotten my hands on it. You can find it at Target for around 15 to 16 bucks. It's a lot cheaper in store than it is on Amazon, which is surprising because I love to buy everything off Amazon because I think it's cheaper. Not this. So this is the regular um, moisturizing sunscreen. They do have one that's matte, but that doesn't have the best reviews. The matte one has a higher SPF, but then this one has just a little bit less. So the matte is 40 SPF, this one is 30 SPF. And then there's the spray-on version that unfortunately we couldn't find. We looked at two different locations. Me and my mom got the same thing. And so we ended up just getting the sunscreen, one each, and I'm really excited to use it. So like I said, I'm about to go on a walk. I try to do a four mile walk consistently, but um, I gotta get back in the swing of things this week. So hey, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get it started. I'm so excited to be using it. It has jojoba and avocado in it. So I think it's gonna smell really nice. My biggest thing with sunscreen is that I'm not too fond of the sunscreen that smells like pool if you know what I mean like kids going to a swimming pool like it's a great smell but it literally like reminds me of kids going to the swimming pool specifically so we're gonna hope that this one doesn't smell like it I'm gonna take my watch off and we'll get to going oh wow it smells great it smells light I don't know how to explain it because I don't think I would say it really smells like avocado or jojoba oil. Okay, when I rub it, it does smell a little bit like sunscreen, but it's a lot lighter than that banana bow like kid sunscreen. And it's rubbing on quite smoothly. I'm going to get as much of my back as I can. So it has a little film, but I think when I rub it in, it'll be good. So it still smells like sunscreen, but not as pungent of a smell as like your typical sunscreen. So I'm not mad at it. I feel like I need to sit you up a little bit. Hold on. Just wanted to sit you up a bit more so you can see a little better. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but what else? Don't forget the ankle. Don't forget like the underbutt. I'm gonna get all parts of the skin that might have sun exposure. I think I can smell like hints, faint, faint hints of avocado, but that's about it. It smells like avocado and the light scent of sunscreen as well. So not too bad. See if it works. It's nice and thin. I like that it's not thick and it doesn't make my skin look weird, like purple color, <laughs> because I don't like that either. So I'll have to test this when I get into some water too to make sure it's not streaky. But as far as just on land, <laughs> it looks good. Like, legs looking nice and moisturized, and I'm pretty satisfied. So yeah, I'm gonna go on this walk and 
I'll see you later. But yeah, that was Black Girl Sunscreen, y'all. It looks like this. If you have the spray and you've been able to compare it to this, or just even if you have the spray on sunscreen, let me know how you like it. But that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave comments. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with all of your friends and family and people that you love. And thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Bye, guys.